combine a drummer for the Grateful Dead with the U.S. Library of Congress and you have the inspiration and the resources for the Endangered Music Project, distributing indigenous music globally while revitalizing ancient cultural forms. Music is the heartbeat of culture, but the influences of the modern world are silencing the rhythms of ancient indigenous peoples. In response, Grateful Dead drummer Mickey Hart created the Endangered Music Project to save these disappearing sounds. Well, the Endangered Music Project was originally about finding the musics that were being lost either to time or circumstance and giving them back to the cultures that spawned them. Back in 1940, the Fonstock brothers set sail on a similar adventure. Their mission, to document the music of the South Pacific. But the outbreak of World War II ended their plans. And the Fonstock recordings were put away unheard. Eventually, they found their way here, to the American Folklife Center at the Library of Congress, the largest music archive in the world. Most people think the library is just books, and really the collection is multi-format. It is an enormous job to process the material and to make sure that things are preserved for the future. Mickey Hart came over and saw what we had and got very excited. We started right now. He said, gosh, you know, this music is great. It needs to be made available to the world. The Endangered Music Project is bringing these historic recordings back to life with the help of digital technology. Without technology, some of these recordings could not be heard because they've been buried by the ravages of time. It's musical archaeology, you know. We take away the debris of the recording medium of the day, the hisses, the pops, and the clicks, and leave the initial material intact because if the ear doesn't enjoy hearing it, the experience is lost. Just like they played it. Mickey enlisted the aid of Ryko Disc, a technology-savvy label to distribute the music. We saw it as an opportunity to broaden the appeal of music, which in essence is, uh, is archival or certainly less accessible. The next step would be forms of digital distribution. Downloading uh, information is a very important part of our future because it would take, you know, hundreds of tower records to house what is in the Library of Congress alone. Digital distribution allows a global network of listeners to applaud local musicians with a check. All of the proceeds go back to either the tribes, their next of kin, or that community. It's never going to make millions of dollars, but I think it's the moral support, the recognition that people around the world appreciate it. Traditional music has already inspired a variety of contemporary musical groups like Cross Pulse, and the Endangered Music Project will continue to influence and enrich our cultural experiences for years to come. Taking a global digital journey. Together, we're the dot in dot com.